Oh, hey, there you are. Glad to have you here, and welcome to the third annual crossover collaboration, May the Fourth Be With You, where creativity knows no bounds and the magic of 22 artists comes to you for your artistic viewing pleasure. Here you will find an incredible array of various art stylings, all within the theme of Star Wars. So get your lightsabers in hand, my friend, and perhaps a snack and a beverage, and sit back, enjoy the show, and may the fourth be with you. This fabulous collaboration is brought to you by Donna of the channel It's Art by Donna. Donna does a lot to put a collaboration like this together, so be sure to show her your support. Yes, my friends, this is May the 4th Be With You, and this is the third annual occurrence of this amazing collaboration theme, and we thank you for joining us here. We know you will love seeing the variety of art pieces presented, and I also know that you're just going to love the spin that each artist brings to this amazing Star Wars-themed marathon of incredible presentations. All of the artists who are participating are going to be linked in my description below, so make sure you check down there so that you can make sure that you see every artist's fabulous presentation and be able to get there easily. And, of course, may the 4th be with you always. Now, the piece that I will be presenting today is a Galaxy Ring Pour and I cannot wait to show you the fascinating results that I achieve here. This one is really unique and very different than anything else that I have presented before on my channel. I'm pretty sure you're really going to like this. Now, I'll talk a little bit about each color as we go along. I'll start by telling you that I have not used any pure white paint in this piece, although I have used white to mix at least one of my shades. I also did not use black. And I also did not use any deco art reactive metallic paints, such as Extreme Sheen or the metallics, which often yields amazing types of cells within final outcomes within fluid art. I normally do use those within a ring pour, but I chose to not use any of that within this one. And while I typically do use white and some form of the DecoArt reactive metallic paint, I really chose to do something very different to see what results I would get this time. I do use Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue and Dioxazine Purple as my two darkest colors. I also have two metallic colors. However, they are not brands that provide cell activity. So I'll share a little bit ahead what each of the paint colors are. The end result of this painting is achieved in two parts. And so I'm not getting much into how I'm layering the cups initially because it ends up being a little bit on the non-relevant side to the final outcome, but it was part of the process. So I am showing you that footage. And also by Liquitex Basics, I'm using their light pink shade. And that pink does tend to slant a little more toward a flesh sort of tone than it does a true pink. And the strong salmon pink color is a custom blend of a few different colors.
there are so many gorgeous aspects present within this, especially in the lower section. At least that's what I like the most. Maybe you might prefer what's in the upper section, but I really like what's happening in that lower portion. I love the lines and the flows in this lower portion. I'm taking a moment to really just sit and assess this because as much as I love this lower area as a painting in and of itself, I'm not feeling like this is giving me outer space vibes, you know? <laughs> and though uh, I do kind of like this lower portion as just a painting, not totally crazy with the upper portion, but it, it is really a neat painting in and of itself, but it's not really making me feel Star Wars, you know? And that's what I'm here to create in this piece is a theme of outer space vibes and Star Wars. So I'm pouring again because of this one factor. And this time I'm just gonna go for a regular ring pour. And that's kind of why I mentioned that this is a galaxy ring pour in the beginning of my video because, well, this is a voiceover and I kind of know the outcome. All right, so I did start the layering of this particular cup with the Prussian blue rather than my lightest color, which is what I would normally do. I would normally start with my white because normally I would be using white or if I wasn't using white, I would start with my lightest color. But I'm starting with Prussian blue because I'm hoping that the blue in the center will give an effect of the colors opening up as if they're revealing that blue, as if revealing space. That would give me this effect of it being kind of like a nebula opening up to space or a black hole or something. All right, so I'm tilting very slowly to control the paint and to give the best outcome in maintaining the integrity of the flows and parts of interest currently present within the puddle. The tilting process is where it can be maintained or lost entirely, as anyone seasoned in fluid art will already know. And I just want to take a moment to thank Aishu of Aishu's Crafty Kids Club. She makes really amazing videos on really great crafting projects. I'm sure you're going to love it. She gave me a great introduction and she also presented her piece before me, as well as there were several other artists who not only premiered before me today, but also yesterday, and there are more artists premiering tomorrow. So definitely make sure you catch everyone's video to get your fill of all of the wonderful displays of Star Wars themed art that there are in this wonderful collaboration. And I am actually ending the collaboration pieces that will be shown today, Friday, May the 5th, and starting tomorrow, Saturday, May the 6th, we have Meta of Meta Pores Fluid Art, and she is premiering at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, which is also noon Eastern Time. So make sure that you catch Meta for her presentation, as well as all of, of the other artists who will be premiering after her. And again, all of the links are below. So I'm loving how that center has opened up. I definitely have achieved a result that gives the appearance that I was aiming and hoping to accomplish, and I am so pleased with this. You can let me know in the comments if you like this as well. All right, so this definitely gives me the impression of a nebula opening up to space in the center. That's what I was envisioning and hoping to achieve, and I'm totally digging that I, you know, I really got it. I wasn't sure exactly what that would look like but I didn't really care as long as it was cool and that I got the vibe I wanted and I did so it looks really like a space a spaceship could fly right through there so I'm really liking that I 
look at the lines and the overlaying of the colors. So this is stunning and I love how it's turned out. And um, up ahead I will be showing some displayed results. So definitely hang in there with me to see that. And I also have a really special ending for you after that that you might not otherwise expect. I usually end my videos with displayed results, but hang in there for a little bit longer in this case because I have a really special ending with some really fancy editing that I think you'll dig. May the 4th be with you.